York City. It's seven second delay. You know what else I'd like to do with the psychic works I've always wanted to do is contact Abraham Lincoln and tell him how the play ended. Tonight's guests include a very funny man who writes and directs very funny movies. Everybody clap. Everything's ongoing and sporadic. What a great life. And what did you do? I'm just so well, curious. It's like my uh, colon. This is my last. <laughs> a writer and director, so talented, he almost won an Academy Award. Everybody clap. Uh, somebody talked to me. I don't know how they got Wait, him on. Taft was a governor in the Philippines? Yeah. yeah. What a fantastic segue into your new movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very talented musician who used to be in a band but isn't now. <laughs> Everybody clap. I was endorsed by the Soy Gluten Farmers Union in Nassau County, Long Island. And oh, that's a hard endorsement to get. I know, dude. Believe me. And our very special guest, the late Dennis Hopper. <laughs> I'm touching Dennis Hopper. <laughs> so please welcome Andy and his only friend, Ken. Hey. <laughs> Hey, listen, you want to try something that I thought would be fun? No. <laughs> it's called Punch Punchline Hangman. Here's how it works. I have, well, this is probably the worst idea for radio on God's earth. <laughs> I've made a hangman chart. I'm going, to tell, I'm going to tell the first part of a joke, the setup, and then the punchline is here in this hangman game. Okay. And I swear to Christ, I swear on my mother's eyes, if you can't solve the puzzle, I'm not going to reveal the punchline. We're just going to, I'll die without ever revealing it. Okay. So here's the setup for the joke. The doctor says, you've got to stop masturbating. Uh -huh. The patient says, why? And, the, and then the next line is here in Hangman. So now you have to, okay. And of course, so for Doctor, people, for, go ahead, start, start guessing. The future is old news, some root. The choice you choose, decked out like a financier, feckless like the fox you fear. Yeah, for the trophy cup, the university of prom queen runners up. Wait, why don't we bring out, um, why don't we bring out Betsy Cohen, our psychic, uh, and uh, and uh, let's get this started. Okay, so please welcome Reverend Betsy. We Should could we... we could dim the lights. I'm actually gonna. Oh, um, we've never dimmed the lights here. Oh, just it a works. Bit. There you go. <laughs> we've dimmed the lights. Letters. That's right, how it e. works. E. e. Yes, there's an E. Um, it's probably a couple of E's. Um, like no, that. there's one E. It's the f wait. Yeah, there's more than one. Oh e. yeah, there's two E's. There you the go. first and last letter of the of the seven letter word. Can anybody in the audience? No, guess, no, guess no, no, the no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. No, don't. If you know the joke, wait. It's two <laughs> letters. My question is, um, Dennis, what was it like working with Sandra Bullock? <laughs> <laughs> he says. He says, sexier than you might think. Drows in the immeasurable, pleather and wool. It's a head of your pull. No chance, lose your trance. Napping like the sycophants. Day by 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 day. Please welcome David Wayne. So what did you do first at summer camp? You mean when I got there every summer? Yeah. I would see which girls uh, got acne and which ones developed. <laughs> <laughs> I would make sure to check that out. And then, of course, they, none of them would pay attention to me either way. Sold a remarkable <laughs> number of CDs. Yeah, it was like 25,000. It was wow. huge. By hand, like at the end at, of the show, sitting at the edge of the stage, handing them, they give me 15 bucks at sign. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 20, 25,000 records. Yeah, it's pretty hip, actually. Times $15. Hold on. Were you surprised that the, uh, the value of your paintings did not increase very, very much when you, <laughs> when you passed? Did that disappoint you? <laughs> you don't get disappointed on the other side. <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> the there was one guy named Mo Willems, who's gone on to become... Oh, my God. He's, yes. he's in our... I mean, I have young kids, so Ex I know Me, him. too. Exactly. So oh he's, he's the king of, of child lit. He is. Um, uh, he'd be a great guest, Ken. He would be amazing. And he's, he's alive, so it would be a little change of pace <laughs> change of pace for us. We might have to pay for parking, unlike Dennis Hopper. But this is... Uh, we went Dennis Hopper, David Wayne, and now John Sales, who is like... Uh, an important guy in, in American movies. Yeah, the father of independent cinema. Yeah, so Caucus 7 k maybe kicked it off, and, and uh, I've been wanting to meet him for a long time. I'm a huge fan. So you want to bring him out? Yeah, please welcome two-time Academy Award nominee John Sayles. H how, many, how many people here have heard of the Philippine-American War? 
Uh, about quite a, third. quite a few hands. Yeah. How many of you heard about it in the last two minutes for the first yeah. time? <laughs> <laughs> well, we should wait. We should we should explain that Mr. Sales' new film is called Amigo. Amigo, Amigo and it's set in the Philippines in 1900. It, in, in 1900, during the the Philippine American War. You know, makes me feel. All these guys make me feel like such a hack. hack. Yeah, hack. Yeah. <laughs> David. I sensed, David Wayne. I sensed the word you were searching for was hack. I never laughed when I saw you dance. I never giggled at your elegance. Retrace your paces. Forest faces come up aces. This, and you're ready to kiss that that like an acrobat. Adventures unmentionable, free and consensual. Day by day by day. And he spends half an hour. Did you catch that half an hour with his children, Andy? Yeah, I do that too. Uh, you know, no, not, a, a, not, a not all at once. A day. Oh, a day. Oh, a day. A day. Ah, yeah. ah, day. Yeah, no, that's a lot. It was like a peace movement in the United States. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was interesting because it was a. It was a controversial war even at the time. There was a thing called the Anti-Imperialist League, uh, the heads of which, or the most famous people in it, were Andrew Carnegie and Mark Twain. Wow. Uh, who never agreed on another thing in their lives. Um, and hey, we could, we could have them uh, on a show in a couple of weeks. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Come on, keep, keep guessing. It's You've got letters, to stop masturbating. The patient says why. Go ahead and name it. Ask another letter. Uh, a. Yes, there's an A. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, it's the second letter of word three. Have today. you seen Harry Potter? Because I Harry haven't. Potter lives in the heart of all of us, and she Dennis does? Hopper lives in your hearts. So Wait, you're plugging Harry Potter now? <laughs> yeah, prequel slash sequel for years, and I think uh, prequel. We're talking about doing well. You know, the movie all takes place at on the, the end of the at the, the end last of the summer yeah. day of summer camp. Last day, that's right. And so we were thinking the prequel could be the day before the last day of summer camp. <laughs> or that's one idea. And you and you also um, have a fairly unusual um, attitude about downloading. You put a lot of your music available for free download on the web, right? Yeah, yeah. A lot of instrumental stuff is up at uh, dubiousluxury.net. And, uh, and also, like, I'm very pro-piracy. Mm -hmm. Piracy saved my life. Blank A, blank E. Go ahead. <laughs> this, is, this is entertainment. Yeah. Um... I, yes, I, there's yeah. an I, fine, there's yeah. an I. The movie opens, uh, it's already open in the Philippines. It opens in New York uh, August 19th at the AMC 42nd Street and, and, and other cities. Yeah. What's the reception been to the movie in the Philippines? Uh, interesting. People are, one of the reasons I made the movie is this is a history that's not only not well known in the United States, but not well known uh, in the Philippines mostly because having won the war, we also took over their educational system and uh, did actually very good things with the educational system, except in the history department, where we just left out a war that probably a million people died in. Mm. So uh, most Filipinos were taught in school that uh, Spain uh, occupied them for 300 years and then sold them like the option on a basketball player for $20 million to the United States. Kind of like the Knicks getting somebody. Wow, in. and that's the official line. Oh wait, oh there's another A. Oh wait, I miss. Oh, I misspelled it. <laughs> Here. Okay, so the so the middle word is seven letters, E blank A blank. And you've you've uh, staked out a pretty remarkable career since the end of Soul Coughing. Um, when when the band ended ten years ago, you just started touring in your own car and selling. Selling records. Yeah, yeah. I was I was just an utterly messed up individual. It was a big drug problem. Got dropped from Warner Brothers. Got dropped. The guy who dropped me said it was because I was going bald. Oh, this something sucks. about ex examine you. Oh, so I can examine you. It's a perfect joke. Why don't you tell the whole joke now, Andy? It's the greatest joke ever written. The doctor says you've got to stop masturbating. The patient says why? So I can examine you. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, hold on. That's what? a real laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, August 30th. It uh -huh. drops, they say, on August 30th. It's called Yes and Also Yes. The last question would be yeah. when I die, yeah. and then when Sandra Bullock dies, <laughs> is there any way he could introduce me up there in heaven? And that will be the end forever of Punchline <laughs> of Hangman. Radio Hangman. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. <laughs>